Let's review the basic capabilities of your website editor. Start by turning editing on by clicking Turn Editing On found at the top left of the screen. As soon as you click this button, you'll notice that the text now reads Turn Editing Off, which will confirm that editing has actually been turned on. You'll notice there are now yellow edit buttons found throughout the pages of your website or found underneath an editable area within your website. To access the editor, click on one of these edit buttons. A pop-up window will appear, which is your website editor. We'll review each of these basic features more in depth. To add or remove text, simply put your cursor within the editor, create a new space, and type the new text. To remove text, simply select it and click Delete. If you've made a mistake, you can hit Command-Z or Control-Z to put the text back, and you can do this up to 25 times. If you've gone too far, you can hit Control y to go forward. To bold, italicize, or underline text, simply select the text and click on one of these icons. You can also select them all if you want your text to be bold, underlined, and italicized. To create a bulleted or numbered list, enter the new text, select the text, and then click on the bullets or the numbers. To move text further to the right or to the left, use these indent or outdent buttons. To center text, simply select the text and then click your center alignment button. You can also right align text by selecting text and clicking the right align button. To add a link to this page, you can select the text and click on this link icon. A pop-up window will appear and it will ask us for the link URL. This is the page that I would like my text to link to. If this is an external link, you can set the target to open in a new window. If you've mistakenly forgot to add the HTTP colon backslash backslash prefix to your link, then the editor will recognize it and ask to include it. Click OK. You'll notice it's added right here. Now I'll set my target to open the link in a new window because I don't want my user to leave my website when they go to google.com. You can change the title of the link if you wanted here as a list to read click here to go to Google. When you're finished, click insert. Once all of your changes have been made, you can click save edits and the changes will be published immediately. All of the changes that we recently made are immediately applied to the page. If you need to make more changes, simply click on the edit button once more and finish up with your changes. To add a picture to this page, click on the insert image dot 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 icon. A pop-up window will appear, which we'll refer to as the Picture Manager. This holds all of the pictures that we've added to our website. To upload a new image, click on Upload File, found at the top left of the Picture Manager, and then browse your computer to find the appropriate picture. You can adjust the image size so that it fits within the site by pixel size. You can also apply filters, make the picture grayscale, grayscale 2, or sepia. 
When you're finished, click Save. And once it's loaded, it will appear underneath the first section. If you want to add more pictures, click Browse and find the new picture that you'd like to add. You can do this as many times as you'd like. When you're finished, click on the Images icon at the top left, which will bring us back to our Picture Manager. Select the photo that you would like to add to this page and give the image a description. The description is the hover state that your user will see when they hover over this image. Now click OK. The picture will be added to the website editor immediately. You can change the alignment on it by selecting the image and clicking the alignment icon. When you're finished, click Save Edits. The change will be reflected immediately. To explore the more advanced features of this website editor, please watch the next video.